All right, so the gun we're going to be looking at today is the Ruger Red Hawk. Okay, now this is a 4.2 inch model. And so it's a good one for carry, especially if you're thinking about protection from wild animals or something like that. It's not really good for concealed carry because it's just too big. But this is a 44 Magnum, six shot. As you can see, it's unloaded. And it's double action and single action. So Ruger came out with the Red Hawk in 1979. They were available in stainless and blued. They no longer make the blued ones. They uh, only make the stainless ones now. But as you can see, it's got a 4.2 inch half underlug barrel. It's got a ramp front sight. This one is adjustable for windage. Some of the older ones had interchangeable sights, but they weren't adjustable for windage. This one is just dovetailed in, so it's adjustable for windage. It's got an orange painted ramp on there. It's in 44 Magnum. The 4.2 inch model comes with these nice Hogue grips. It's got an exposed back strap, but they, uh, they wrap around pretty well. They let you get a real good grip on it and they really help with the recoil. Uh, the Red Hawk works kind of like the uh, GP100 and the SP101 in that it's got a third locking point for the cylinder on the crane right here or the yoke if you're a Smith & Wesson person and so that locks into the frame if we can get it to focus locks into the frame right there as you shut it that little indention goes back into the crane and then snaps in so your cylinder is locked at three points right here at the rear and then of course by the cylinder locking bolt So this is my second Red Hawk I've had. I also used to have a 7.5 inch Red Hawk, 7.5 inch. And I liked it a lot, but I really wanted this 4.2 inch, so I, I sold the 7.5 inch to get this. Uh, they're, they're kind of expensive, but they're one of the strongest 44 Magnum revolvers that you can get, especially in double action. You know, a lot of the Buffalo Bore stuff is only rated for certain guns and the Red Hawk is always one of them and it's just all around a hard double action 44 to beat if you're looking for one now I will say that when I bought this gun I bought it brand new it did come with an issue or two right out of the box the number one issue the rear sight as you can see even though this is a stainless gun the rear sight is blued and on the original rear side it just had a very poor bluing job some of the blue was missing up in here the second issue was that the cylinder on both sides opposite sides like for example let's say it was right here and it was exactly on the same spot on the other side there were terrible scratches and I mean they weren't deep scratches it was more like it had been polished with a rougher grit and in a completely different direction than the rest of the polish so it looked pretty bad and then the third issue was actually something inside there was a little plunger stuck in here that I that was stuck and so I could not even disassemble the gun so I actually called Ruger and asked them what could be done about it and they said send it in that's no problem we'll address you know we'll take care of it so I just I was only really upset about not being able to take it apart but since I was sending it in anyways, I just I just made a list of complaints, every little flaw I could find. And I sent it in, and about a week to the day after I got it in the mail, it was back at my house. And, it, I mean, it was perfect. They had repolished it, they had replaced the rear sight, and they had fixed the issue inside. They returned me an absolutely flawless gun. They paid shipping both ways. And so it was a little bit frustrating that it would come out of the box with those issues, but one thing about Ruger you can be sure of is that if you do have a problem, they will take care of you. I mean, they returned me an absolutely flawless gun. Any, any scratch you might see on it now, I've put on there, which is the way it should be for, with a new gun. 
So that's just a little story about Ruger's excellent customer service. I'm sure that you've heard that they've had ex excellent customer service, and that is true. They have pretty much the best customer service of any gun company that I'm aware of. Now this is the box that the 4.2 inch Red Hawk comes in. It's a nice hard case. It's got these sliders to open it and they've also got a hole in them if you wanted to put a lock or something through it. So you open it. Up here is your manual and your papers up here in the lid. They got a little plastic clip that keeps them in. Comes with plenty of padding so you can use this as a carrying case foam to protect your gun. The gun sits right here and then what you also get in the box is a little plastic ring to show that the gun's unloaded. A little instruction manual on how to remove the grips and you also get this little plastic tool to help remove the grips and of course you get your lock. and a little stainless steel pin to help disassemble the gun. So that's everything that comes in the box. So uh, this one's a little dirty as you can tell because I've been shooting it some today and we're gonna go shoot it right now. Now we're gonna shoot the 4.2 inch Ruger Red Hawk. We're gonna do a cylinder and single action. Now we're going to take some double action shots with the 4.2 inch Red Hawk. 